What's up everybody in YouTube world? This is Barnon11970. Thank you for watching my video. Alright guys, I'm going to expose a couple of the things that people are talking about. They may not realize it, there may be good intention, but I want to show people what's going on. And I have two different types of snow, both from the back, from the front yard. We have uncompressed snow that I just scooped out of the front yard, and then snow that I compressed. Now you see, everybody's trying to light compressed snow. Now, let's put this near here. Now you have to understand, when you compress snow, what are you doing to it? You're actually turning it into an ice cube. So of course, it's not going to burn as much and as fast as it would if it was by itself. Okay, now, everybody uses the water experiment. Now, that's not hot water. So of course it's not going to melt right away. But again, it's like dropping an ice cube. Now watch, I'm going to take some of the snow that hasn't been compressed at all. And you'll see the snow is melting. All right, and again, I'll take some fresh scooped snow and put it in the water. And see how it already is starting to disappear but people also have to remember this water is not boiling so if it's above freezing then the ice is not going to freeze so all you're doing is when people are showing this experiment they are compressing the snow turning it into something that's more solid and it's actually going to take longer for it to actually melt now as far as the the black substance that people are talking about well that could primarily come from the fact of the butane coming off of the lighters or the light, the heating source. Now, I'm not saying that's totally debunking it, and I'm not saying that it could legitimately be where there's some kind of tainted snow, but we all have to remember, this is, I understand people want to talk about, there we go, conspiracy theories, and we want to debunk, I mean, we want to see what's wrong and corrupt in this world, but making up stories or not really realizing what you're doing just to get views and to try and scare people is not the best way to do this. So um, I'm not one of those people who is going to just believe anything I hear, especially if it's something that I can check on. So I want people to know that I'm in this to try and show people what's really going on. Now, I'm not saying there aren't people out there that did this experiment and not really stop to think about what happens when you compress snow you're turning it into something solid, and of course that's going to take longer for it to melt. And when you put it in water that's room temperature, it's not going to melt the snow. I mean, drop an ice cube in water and you'll see it's not going to melt right away. It's going to take several hours. So hopefully that will help a little bit. You know, um, I'm, again, I'm not saying people are lying. I'm not saying that people are trying to deceive. I'm sure there's a few bad apples that spoil the tree, but I want people to know that this experiment, you have to understand what's going on. Otherwise, you're just going to watch something on the internet and be fooled. Be careful with that. As much as I want the truth, I don't want people to be spreading misinformation just to get people aware. It's not the right way to do it. All right, guys? Thanks for watching.